Everyone walking the street. Did they actually something? What? for help. Hmm. Hopefully it's nothing that'll be too hard to deal with. I still can't believe I'm seeing Danins and Renins getting along. You never know. It could all be an act on orders from the Renins. To what end? It would be an incredible amount of effort just to fool us.
So these are the training grounds. The atmosphere here feels different compared to the rest of Vicent. It's just a nicer name for a place where people go to fight. So? It's still a good way for us to test our strength. Stop sweating the small stuff. Someone in trouble here. Well, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got it. Mm -hmm. Just great. Well, all right. What are you going to use the prize money for? What else? Eating until my stomach bursts. That sounds right up Sheon's alley. like Danons are working in the quarry. Let's go check it out. So do any of you know... I think... A rock? I don't know the deed. I think... Grass? There. So...
Stay sharp. We're going in. I'm sorry. I'm not feeling well today. Could I please take the day off? Oh, that's terrible. Rest up and try not to strain yourself. I'll let the others know. Thank you. I appreciate it. Everybody seems so happy working here. And it seems like the soldiers are there to actually protect them rather than keep an eye on them. I don't get it. How can it be like this? I presume you're Alfin, of Orbis Calaglia? I'm Captain Kisara of the Elder Menencia Guard. Just... Kisara? No last name would make you a Danon. So it does. Is that a problem? The Guard... Wait, so you're saying the Lord of Elder Menencia has Danons protecting him? In this country, Danon Guardsmen aren't unusual. Everyone who enlists does so of their own free will. She sounds like she's serious, Alfin. That makes no sense. Don't your people remember seven years ago? Wouldn't you be grateful if you were finally allowed to live as a free person? And for my part, there is no greater honor than being chosen to serve His Excellency, Lord Dohalim. I feel no shame. <laughs> but all of that aside, I came seeking you, Alfin at Lord Dohalim's behest. He wishes an audience with you. W with us? Indeed. He awaits you at Ottolina Palace. That is, if you choose to accept. I am here only as a messenger, not a kidnapper. Your reply? All right. We'll meet your lord. Very well. I shall return and deliver your acceptance. Please don't keep him waiting too long. Before you go, what lies beyond this point? A quarry manned by Dan and laborers. Nothing else? There's a Dan and medical facility for the severely ill at the back. However, for sanitation reasons, it's kept off limits, even to guardsmen. That was odd. Why do you think this Doalim would want to see us? It's probably a trap. Still, they already know we're here. Not like we can start being stealthy now. We might as well listen to what he has to say. Hey, are you sure about going? What if it's a trap? That's no reason to back out now. Law's right. I get your concern, but we should buckle down. That Kisara woman. She still has a run in society. It's the same old wall. I guess it can change, but... With that in mind. Who knows? Yeah. Have... Yeah, I... Like what? Maybe it's precisely because... 
Hey! Relax, Rinwa. <laughs> I guess that towering structure at the center is the palace. You think it's dangerous to go inside? It's not a question of danger. We're going inside regardless. Pretty fancy place they got here. There's no way this isn't a trap. Your guests, my lord. Thank you, Kisara. You're the wielder of the Blazing Sword. The liberator of Calaglia. You do dress humbly for someone of such grandeur. But where are my manners? I am the ruler of Elda Menencia. I'm Lord Dohilim Ilkaris. If you know who we are, then you know how strange it is to invite us into your palace. I thought I'd clear up your misconceptions before things could escalate. What do you say? <sighs> You did come here to defeat me, did you not? Perhaps, and what if we did? Are you planning to fight us here? I don't think that will be necessary. After all, I imagine you've taken in a fair amount of his scent by this point. Have you come across even one slave being abused? Soldiers killing for sport? Suffering of any form? I would hazard that you have not. For I have liberated Menencia from its suffering, and brought joy to its people. But if these results are not enough to stay your sword... I commend you for your boldness, but it won't work on me. Still... Your would-be assassination cannot go unpunished. Elfin! Fair enough. <clears throat> Allow me to host you for dinner. We shall continue our talk then. Kelzalik? Yes, my lord. Please escort our guests if you would be so kind. As you wish, sire. That's what you get for being so careless. What I get? What were you thinking attacking him on your own? What are you upset about? Our whole goal is supposed to be overthrowing the Lords. Remember? He could have been hurt. And it wouldn't have been the first time either. What's gotten into you? <sighs> hey, you do know that Alfin is really just worried about you, right? He's... worried? I mean, that's what it looked like to me. Uh, but, um, maybe not. It pains me to see that Renan cuisine isn't to your liking. 
I asked my chefs to prepare only the finest delicacies available. Two wasted opportunities. Why did you set the Danans here free when you took over? Ah, uh, but you are mistaken. You see, I may rule single-handedly, but on my own even I cannot change the order of things. But what is within my power is the welfare of the people, the fostering of a mutual respect among the classes. This I can change. Sounds a lot like the Danans are still oppressed, if you ask me. In the sense they continue to serve as laborers, yes. However, I assure you they are fairly compensated for their efforts. This harmony we strive for is the current pinnacle of Ren and Danon coexistence. Harmony and coexistence between the Renans and the Danans. What about the crown contest? This doesn't exactly make you a shoo-in. And yet, the Danans here are even more productive than when they used to face daily lashings. In any case, the crown contest is of little importance to me, and even less to Elda Menencia. You see, I have no interest in becoming sovereign. It is not by choice that one assumes the throne of a realm. But Sovereign is a different matter entirely. I have no interest in playing their game. Are you saying you'll withdraw from the contest? Guess if you don't plan to ascend the throne, there's not much reason to harvest energy from Danans, is there? Let the ambitious fight it out amongst themselves. All I care for is maintaining peace throughout my realm. So what? Your personal desires are all that matter to you? Take a look in the mirror. I may not play their games, but you have outright betrayed your own. You've torn down two of my fellow lords. What precisely is your aim? <sighs> Spare me your answer. I care not for your reasons. Suffice it to say, I will not impede you. That said, should you threaten the peace of my realm, I will respond. I suggest you conclude your business and leave Menencia at your earliest convenience. Kelzalik. Our guests depart. Please see to their lodgings for the night.
I shall arrange for rooms for you all at a local inn. It is a short ways down the road. You may stay there for the night, after which I suggest you promptly make your departure. Look at how ritzy this place is. How many rooms do you think it's good? So you're the blazing sword? Yeah. Y yeah. What do you mean? It's not as simple as... No, that's not... It isn't? When people call me, it's hard to put into words. Hmm. 